Hello everyone, today we have new video review and this time we're gonna check fresh release from Edward. As usual don't forget to read full review article here in the video description below, there should be link so just click it and you'll find detailed photos of this particular kit. This is a 148 scale brassin set which is designed for Tamiya 14A which was released relatively recently and we reviewed it on our website so if you want you can find the review article. But this time you can replace full cockpit in the model and I guess it will be more detailed than the standard plastic is. So now let's open it and check what's inside there. So as you can see packaging is quite typical for this Brassin line of products. We have parts secured with two layers of foam from bottom and from the top. Then we have assembly manual here. Just give me a second to carefully remove it. So here it is. This one is also typical for Brassin products. Here we have assembly process explained for pilot seats. Then we have it for dashboard, for different side panels. And note that there is even separate section for the gray panels, how to paint them and how to achieve a more realistic finish. And of course on the last page we have parts map for all included components in this kit. Now let's jump to the resin parts. And those are different uh, because they are packed into the different plastic bags of course. And also they feature various elements for fine detailing. For example, here we have some of the side panels. I will place all the parts so that you can see them. And those parts of course are carefully molded because this is a resin and we have even transparent resin here as you can see. This one is a rear wall and note the detail and I will zoom in so that you can see it. It's really impressive. And here we have side panels again. Those are some internal elements and those are some minor parts. Now let's zoom in so that you can see these parts closer. So here you can see side panels. Now I will move them a bit so that you can see these walls and these minor parts. Really impressive molding quality and I think with careful painting they should look even better. So take your time and carefully paint all those parts in order to achieve a more realistic finish. Now let's move on to the next plastic sprue or let's say plastic bag. Uh, here we have another set of parts. Actually there are three plastic bags in total. But here we have the biggest ones. Why? Because here we have the cockpit bases. So as you can see these are molded as a single piece elements. Here is another one. And I'm not sure how they will be positioned. I guess it should be like this. Something like this. Don't forget that Tomcat is, you know, let's say, two-seater. Here we have a combing panel. Uh, next we have another one. Here it is. Then we have a dashboard with pre-molded dials, by the way. Another dashboard for the second pilot. And some of the minor elements. Uh, molding quality, again, is really impressive. This is a resin, so it's a must-have in 148 scale. And I'm not surprised that such detailing was implemented in this kit, but it will be a bit tricky to paint all those minor parts, because here you can see comparison with my finger, they are still really tiny, even though this is 148 scale. And last, the third plastic bag is dedicated to pilot seats. I am opening it right now. So here it is. Pilot seats should be familiar to you because we reviewed them in a separate uh, brassin set. Now you have them as a part of this kit. And they look quite nice and obviously more detailed than original plastic Tamiya offering. And of course they might be a bit tricky to paint once again due to the fine detailing as you can see from all possible sides. So again it will require some time to get a proper finish on those resin parts. Now let's jump <clears throat> to different bonuses which are included into this kit. There are several PE threads inside surprisingly. So first we have, um, let's say, small one, unpainted one. Here it is. And there in the same plastic bag you can also find decals sheet with 
all necessary symbols. Note that we have dials separately, so you won't replicate them with PE parts, you'll replicate them with decals on the resin part. And that's quite an interesting approach because usually Eduard using, uh, is using the PE offering for this part of the airplane. And of course, last but not the least, is a special P thread for seat parts. As you can see here, we have different belts, handles, and other stuff which should be placed on the pilot seats. And believe me, in assembled state, it's really impressive. So that's all for this video review. As you can see, we have nice resin addition from Edward, and I guess it will be a really good look in addition to your F14 Tomcat. As usual, don't forget to leave your opinion here. Would you use such upgrade on your model? And of course, if you like this video, if you would like to support us, press the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel. I will see you in the next video review. Bye.